Lee, uh, a one-all draw uh, against Leek Town today. What were you, your thoughts on the game? Um, good, 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 entertaining game. I thought. Um, I thought Leek started, Leek started off well, kept the ball well, um, scored a great goal. You know, and at half time, I said to the lads, sometimes you just gotta give credit to the opposition. I thought that the lads got it, got it out of his feet, and he's it for you know, and it's a good goal. There's nothing you can do there, but then. Again at half time, it was about what we got in the dressing room and how can we respond to that. Um, I thought second half we were great. I, I know they had, you know, they had a couple of chances, but I thought, you know, we dominated um, <clears throat> in terms of possession. Really, I mean, they might disagree. Obviously, it's a draw and it can go either way. But uh, you know, it's 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 what we had in the dressing room and to, and to get a point here against a, against a very good side. I mean, we're delighted just to get off the mark as well for the club and just the group. I think as a group they deserve something and and they've got it there today in a point. So I'm absolutely made up for them. Definitely a, a few changes to the, <coughs> the starting uh, eleven today. What were the, the thoughts behind those? Just, I mean, obviously <coughs> the. Um, the, the lads who were there will know the shift he put in on Wednesday was, was with ten men was was unbelievable. So I felt if you know when I look at the group and, and the squad, you know I'm happy with what I've got and I think everyone's at the same you know ability if you like. And I just felt that you know there's lads that could come in and do and and do a job and, and they've, they've got to improve me right. Um, you know it, could I kept the same team possibly, but you know you know I can, if I can refresh it then I'll do it for the for the lads. Do you know what I mean? And and as a team and as I say I think it's worked today. Obviously, Ryan Jennings um, obviously struggled th with injury throughout pre-season. He came back onto the, the bench on, on Wednesday and obviously on the bench again today. He came on and, and got the equalising goal, but he's buzzing in there. Yeah, he is. I mean, he, I think he's more happy just to get back. I think, you know, you know, I look at, you know, listen to him in there. He's, he's more happy for the team. And, and let's have it right, since, since, since he has been out injured, he's there every training session, he's been there every game, he's always in the dressing room encouraging the lads. He, you know, I know he's only 26, but he, you know, he's, like, he's like a seasoned pro, the, the, way, the, way, you know, the way he helps everyone out. And I, I made up for him because it, it has been tough, and I did say when we signed, it was a gamble for him, it was a gamble for us, and it was just about managing his injuries. He's come back, you know, could we have played him maybe last week? We possibly could, but you know, today he, he's, he's got on there, and, and, and for me, he, he deserves that. I'm absolutely made up for him, even if he's not, I'm, I'm delighted for him personally but obviously for the point it gives the team another player that we <coughs> excuse me we seem to pick out in commentary Billy Hassler Craig obviously came off in the, the second half but had a, a number of good chances throughout the game yeah he's been brilliant Billy I've just been speaking to him in there um, one to one and I think <clears throat> again another one who struggled with injury he comes to his last season on the back of a long term injury uh, we, you know we've got him going well and again it's just about management we have to be patient and I, I know we want to win every game and even though you know we were bottom of the league albeit three games we, we still as a group and like as a club, we just need to be patient and have a little bit of trust. Um, and B Billy, you know, Billy's Billy's no different in terms of player wise in, in what we've done. You know, we've managed his injury. He's, cut, he's he's grew into the games, and now he's starting to get where, where he was only getting what at forty five. He's now getting you know sixty, seventy. You know, maybe we could have kept him on a little bit longer, but I felt with you know with a game coming up Monday and, and just just in terms of the shift he put in, I think I think he's absolutely you know he's relishing that role that that, that we've put him in, and and credit to him because you know it, it was easy. He could have got his head down. He could have sulked and moped about you know how things weren't going for him, but but he, you know. He, unbelievable mentality him and Ryan Jennings definitely a couple more questions on personnel before we look to, to Monday obviously Seydou Bamba's been out with the, the lads in the, the warm up today how's his recovery coming yeah, along yeah still recovering um, obviously we spoke in the past that it was, a, it was a, obviously mentally he was struggling in terms of um, he, you know I think he tried to come back too quick um, but again, he, you know, it's just managing. We've got two phys we've got a sports therapist in there, and we've got a physio as well. So, you know, we've seen both of them. He's 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 doing step by step, and you know, he's not, he's not far away. But it's just a matter of building it up, and then when he's ready, you know, we can start maybe giving him some minutes. But again, credit to him, he's he's, he's doing well in his recovery. And Harry Turner, what's the the latest there? Harry Turner's still injured. He's about four weeks away. And looking to Monday, obviously. Yeah. A semi-local derby against Mosley back at uh, the Riverside. What are your thoughts out of that one? Mosley and Mosley, it's going to be a tough game, we know that. Um, but again, as much as I respect every team in this league, obviously my focus is on Ramsbottom and how I can get us better. Um, we only get better by, by sticking together, sticking to game plans and gaining experience th throughout. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but again, it's you know it's a challenge for the lads. What one we're definitely up for, and one I can hope that we, you know we we can come out of with three points. 
you know, whether we do or we don't, it's, it's not the end of the world. It's about sticking, you know, sticking together and working on what we can. Definitely, and just finally on the fans, obviously, I know you said in, on Twitter after the, after the game on Wednesday night, you, you praised their support and they were out here again today. Loved them, absolutely loved them. I mean, you know, it's the it's, it's they can see what's happening. Do you know what I mean? It's not, you know, it, it could be easy for a fan to get frustrated the following us home and away, you know, for, for, for what expense that might be. But they're there every single week. They, they encourage, they sing, even when we're getting beat, you've heard them there. They, you know, they make up the noise in numbers, don't they? Um, and yet, as I say, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't speak highly enough of them. They know that themselves. And, you know, I'm, 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 proud, I'm proud to manage the club on behalf of them, to be honest with you. And, you know, they, they do give the lads a lift. It's, you know, and you're seeing them there at the end and the players when they all go over. You know, that's class. That's what, that's what non league is all about. You know, we've got a point. We think it's a good point away from home against the good side. And, you know, they're, they're you know, every Everyone's seeing it like a win and we feed off the fans and you know as I've said there, I can't speak highly enough for them. I absolutely love them all. Really? Cheers, mate. Time, mate.